Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this look. It is a Kendall Jenner inspired smoky eye. She recently released her new campaign with Estee Lauder's The Edit and I thought I would recreate her the edgiest smoky eye look. This is just an inspired look and I'm not using all the same products that she used. This is just how I wanted to recreate it. It's just a really deep smoky eye using only three products. So if you want to get this really simple green smoky eye, then keep on watching. Alright, so to speed things up a little bit, I already did my base and my brows. For my base, I used my L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation in the shade N12. And then I also mixed it in with a little bit of Benefits High Beam, used a little beauty blender. And for my brows, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony, as well as the Benefit, what is this called? Gimme Brow in medium deep. I also concealed underneath my eyes and on my spots with um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. And now I'm going to go into contouring. So in the Estee Lauder campaign, um, Kendall has really nice glowing skin. She doesn't look like she's having too much contour or too much bronze going on. So today I'm going to go in with my NYX The Wonder Stick. I'm going to be using the cream contour on this end. This is in the shade Light. And I'm just going to use this as a base for my bronzer. So just doing this really quickly, I am going from the base of my ear down underneath my cheekbone and creating a little line. Then I'm going in with my beauty blender to blend that out. And I'm going to go over that one more time, just for a quick base for my powder to stick on. Do it on the opposite side as well. Blend it out with a beauty blender. Underneath my jaw as well. and just a little bit onto my forehead and then just one more quick layer on top of it remember to blend nicely into the hairline so you don't have a little line between where your hair starts and your contour begins I'm then gonna go in with one of my favorite palettes of all time this is the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow this is their light one and I'm just going to go in with the bronzer with a Real Techniques brush and go over um, where we put that cream to bronze up the skin. She doesn't have anything too heavy in the campaign because the focus is on the eyes. Using just a small contour brush, I'm going in with the same bronzer and just getting tight underneath my contour a little bit. I'm now going to take the highlight with a Morphe 501 brush and I'm just going to brush that over my cheekbones. This is such a pretty highlight. It's so natural as well. Putting that on both sides. A little bit on the tip of my nose as well. And a little bit onto my cupid's bow. So now that we have a very nice glowing base, we're going to go move on to the eyes. Now I'm not going to be doing the exact makeup that she had in the campaign. So again, this is an inspired look using products that I already had, but they are slightly different. So the first product that I'm going to use is my go-to product when I want to have a very deep smoky eye. And this is the Laura Mercier Eye Caviar Stick. This is in the shade Coco. I have a mini one from a holiday set that I got ages ago. I love these so much. I think I used one of these in one of my last tutorials as well. I will link that down below. But today I'm going to be using this for a very smoky eye. This is just a really nice matte brown color. This stuff is so creamy and blends out so well so that's what I'm going to use on my eyes today. So going in with the shade Coco, I'm just going to concentrate this more on the outer corner of my eye and as well as kind of above here where you would normally put your crease color. I'm going to leave the inner corner quite open because I'm going to add a different cream stick there later. I'm going to blend that out with a Morphe 505 brush. It is just a really nice blending brush that I'm trying out at the moment. And I'm just going to blend that into my eye. Now you can go in with a smoky eye with any other color you want. I know there are affordable um, versions of this um, eye stick. I know Maybelline does a 
stick form of their color tattoo now, so those are some great alternatives to some of these shadow sticks that I'm showing you. I'm just layering this cocoa shade in my crease and blending it out towards my eyebrow. I want this look very smoky and I want to make sure I blend it out quite well. I think shadow sticks are just so easy to use. You just draw them onto your eyelid and you blend them out and you basically got a full look done in like two seconds flat. I'm going to be winging out my liner just a touch so that's why I'm doing that with the shadow as well. I'm now taking the same shadow stick and going on my bottom lash line as well, not going all the way in. So as you can see, I didn't go all the way in to my inner corner. Um, I just left it a little blank because I'm going to add a different shadow there. And I'm taking a Morphe 508 brush, which is just a little smudger brush, and I'm going to go in and smudge that into my lash line. Just taking a bigger blending brush and kind of bringing it down. You can take this shadow as low as you want, and because we're going quite edgy, I'm going to take it quite low. So I've been blending for quite some time now. I think the key to having a really nice smoky eye is just to make sure you take the time to blend everything out. I know this is where a lot of people stop because they look like someone punched them in the eye, but this is the point where you just need to get over it and continue because it's gonna look great, just keep going. So this is what I have so far, this is just using that eye caviar stick in cocoa all over my eyes just to create this really nice smoky effect. You can totally leave the shadow there and go in with an eyeliner. In the campaign, Kendall actually used a greenish bluey um, cream shadow as well as a green shimmer on her eyes. So I actually was looking through my makeup collection and I found this that I got ages ago and completely forgot about. This is the H&M Beauty um, Eye Color To Go and it is in the shade Treasure Hunt and it is just this really nice um, khaki green color and it has some gold sparkles to it. So it is kind of like this and it goes perfectly um, with the cocoa shade from Laura Mercier. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to put it on the very inner corner of my eye and blend it in towards the middle so you kind of get that brownie green kind of mixing into each other. This isn't exactly like the campaign, but like I said, inspired. So I'm just taking the crayon and I'm drawing on to the very center. The cool thing about this product is the more you blend it in, the more the sparkles come out. So that's just something to note if you want to get some of these shadow sticks. I'm taking the same blending um, brush that I was using and I'm just blending that into the brown. And I'm just going to layer this green a couple times until the green gets to the intensity that I prefer. I'm only really blending this out into the middle. I am not going to put any extra sparkle on the outside corner of my eye. I just want it all in the middle. So as you can see, I kind of just blended the two together and it's just really nice and soft. I'm now just going to put a little bit of Treasure Hunt on the bottom lash line, mixing that in as well. So pretty. Just blend that into my lash line a little bit. So this is what we have so far, and now I'm going to go in with some black liner. I finally picked up MAC Smolder Eye Cool, and I'm going to be using that on my eyes today. So first I'm going to tight line with Smolder, and then I'm going to do my waterline underneath, and then I'm going to go in with a small wig on top. I'm just smudging underneath my eye, so it's just a little bit more smoky. I might add a little bit more of smolder underneath there as well. I feel like I'm going a little bit in reverse, but now I'm going to go line my upper lash line and wing it out just slightly. I'm really just smudging this liner into my lash line and then I'm going to take the brush again and smudge it out even more. I love how this liner just gives me a little bit of playtime so it doesn't set as quickly as other ones. Just make sure that those two corners match up. 
And then I'm slightly going to bring out my outer corner and smudge that in as well. that is something that we're kind of going for at the moment. I'm just going to match this eye now. Alright, so this is the ideal right now. You get a little bit of brown, black, smoky going on with a little touch of green sparkle on the center. I love this look so much. It is so pretty. In certain lights, the green shows a little gold and it's just, it's just so nice. I'm just going to clean up underneath my eyes with my favorite um, Naked Skin Concealer. The good thing about this is that there isn't much fallout because everything is cream. So I'm just gonna touch up a tiny bit and beauty blender that out. So that is the eyeshadow done. I'm just gonna put on some fake lashes. So the lashes that I used are these Kiss 03 lashes and I put a little bit of the Push Up Drama Mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm just going to rebronze my face a little bit. I have the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. This is in the shade Sunkiss, the lightest one. I'm just going to rebronze just a touch. I'm not going to be going for nude lips as Kendall did, but I'm going to be using my new favorite lippy. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Chai. It is so moisturizing. I think it looked really nice with this look. This eye look is just so simple, only using three products and just a lot of blending. I hope you guys enjoy this look as much as I do. I am just loving this green at the moment. I love the edge this green gives to the look and it's just something a little bit unexpected. If you guys like this look and want to see more, please subscribe down below and leave a comment. Like always, there are a ton of things on my blog, so be sure to go check that out in the link below. But I think that is it for me today, guys. I will see you next time. Bye!